read page number 87 the boy and the catapult so bodhraj was the strangest fellow of all the writer's friend he was an excellent shooter the writer lived with his parents in an old bungalow on the outskirts of the city outskirts means the outer areas the writer's friend rarely visited his house as it was far from the city but it was a favorite place for bodhraj to hunt one day bodhraj came to the writer's house and went to the go down which was behind the house go down means a place where all the old things or it is a storehouse he noticed the minas little ones in the nest which was near the ventilator bodhraj took his catapult and aimed at the chicks aimed means to shoot or to point out when he tried to hit the chicks he saw a big kite moving across the room see page number 88 No, a kite always makes its nest in a tree. This is Mina's nest. The chicks began fluttering their wings and shrieking. The kite perched on the beam. Fluttering means move lightly and quickly is called fluttering. Shrieking means giving a loud high shout is called shrieking underline the words fluttering shrieking the kite perched on the beam perch means landed or stayed on the on the beam the birds frightened cries filled the air so the birds were very frightened or scared of the kite and they were fluttering their wings and making a shrieking sound the kite has been coming here every day for his meals said bodhraj suddenly bodhraj raised his catapult and aimed at the kite so bodhraj raised his catapult and aimed aimed means pointed at the kite Don't hit the kite it will attack you i shouted but bodhraj paid no attention the pebble missed the kite and hit the ceiling instead underline the word ceiling ceiling means the roof of the house the kite spread its wings wide and peered down peered means looked closely and carefully is called peered down let's get out of here or the kite will attack i said frightened the kite will eat up the little ones this sounded rather strange coming from him
the kite will eat up all the little ones the kite will eat up the little ones this sounded rather strange coming from him bodhraj quickly ran and pulled up the up a table standing against the wall to the place under the mynas nest he climbed on the table gently lifted the nest and slowly stepped down stepped down means came down let's get out of here he said and ran towards the door i followed see page number 89 we went into the garage a garage is a place where vehicles are kept it had only one door and a small window in the black wall a beam ran across its width beam means a long piece of wood which supports the roof is called beam a beam ran across its width underline the word beam garage also underline it he climbed on a box and placed the nest on the beam so he bodhraj climbed up the climbed on a box and placed the nest on the beam a beam is a long piece of wood which supports the roof is called beam the minas eng ones had quieted down standing on the box bodhraj peep into the nest peep means to look inside is called peep i thought that he would pick them up but he said get some water the chicks are thirsty 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 means a feeling or a uh, of a need to drink water is called thirsty underline the word thirsty i brought a glass of water bodhraj fed them with drops of water when bodhraj came the next day he had neither the catapult nor pebbles he carried some seeds with him we fed the minas eng ones and spent time watching them so today we have seen page number 88 and page number 89 in these pages we read that one day bodhraj noticed minas nest near the ventilator of the godown when he aimed at the minas little ones they saw a big kite moving across the room the kite came there to eat the chicks bodhraj knew it and Im- immediately aimed at the kite though the writer asked him not to shoot it he paid no attention he shot it but missed the target he told the writer that the kite would eat the chicks up it was really strange he gently lifted the nest and placed it on the beam of the garage which was the safest place for the chicks 
the writer thought that Bodhraj would take those chicks along with him, but he fed them with drops of water. The next day, Bodhraj came but without catapult. He brought some seeds and fed the chicks. This was the new change attitude or the behavior of the Bodhraj. So 